Hi guys, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Today is a haul video. I know you guys seem to like those, so I have two orders to unbox with you today. One from Live Love Posh and one from Archer and Olive. So if you're interested in seeing that, keep watching. All right, so here we go. I got a surprise box from Jessica from Live Love Posh. She's amazing and her products are like Mwah, chef's kiss. So let's see what she sent to me. Also, I have an affiliate link for you and a code. I have a code for you. The code is Bumble10. You can save 10% off your order at Live Love Posh. And believe me, you're gonna want some of this stuff. This is the biggest box she's ever sent me. I think it's full of stickers. Let's see. All right, a thank you card. Thank you, Jessica. I appreciate the free product. Okay, let's check it out. Oh, this is really pretty. It's really, really nice. La. Ooh. I see some things. I see some things. Oh boy. Okay. I think I need to move the box away so we can all check it out. But first, let's look at this pin she sent to me. Oh my goodness. <gasps> look at that. That is adorable. Look at this. That is so freaking cute. It's a little Live Love Posh pin. And I actually looked for this on her website. So Jessica sent me a little receipt. So I did like kind of peek at what was there so that I could let you know if things were sold out or not. And I did not see this on her website, but this is adorable. Maybe it is there and I just missed it. All right, I'm gonna move this aside because it's too much. It's too much, but let's look at things one at a time. We have some washi tape. This is the thin washi tape essentials, rainbow essentials. So let's see. It's a cute little box, isn't it? That's really cute. Ooh, look at this. They are essential, don't you think? Those rainbow colors. They're gonna match, you know, pretty much any spread. And I have a feeling that Jessica's sticker books will match this too. I like the pink one. Let's look at this one. So we have a solid and a stripe of each of these colors. Wait, let me put them so you can see them. These are very thin. They are five millimeter. Let's check it out. Look at this, look how pretty. That is so cute. So these are like really versatile. So I love plain and like patterned washi that's really simple because it's just so easy to pop in a spread and it's not gonna like clash with anything, you know what I mean? And you can choose the color that you like that's gonna match your spread. Very nice. Let's see what else we have here. You know what, I'm not gonna make you wait. I'm gonna show you the sticker books. Now, I'm not gonna like do an in-depth flip through of each one because there's a lot of them here, but I am going to like quickly flip through them. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Lots of sticker goodness here, you guys. As of this filming, all of these stickers are all in stock. So I don't know if they still are, but I have a feeling. Jessica is really good about stocking sticker books and like she will restock a lot of them. So if there's something that's not available, you can put your email in and she will typically restock and let you know when they do become available. So let's take a look. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm gonna need a new storage box. Let's look at them one at a time. Here's Hello Spring. So I love the sticker books from Live Love Posh because they're just full of these really pretty illustrations. They're all just so detailed and fun. Like look at this washi tape. That is so cute. Um, and this is obviously gonna be a springtime theme. Let's just go through this kind of quickly. And Jessica always has like pretty florals. So it's usually a combination of illustrations, florals, and boxes. It depends on the book. We've got some butterflies there. Ooh, look at that guitar. Little map. Oh my gosh. Light bulbs. Oh, this is cute. And luckily, you get two pages of each. So if you use your favorite sticker, you don't have to worry because there's another one. We have some rainbows and florals. I love these little 
hexagons, like their their little beehives, right? I'm going to, oh, look at these. Oh, I love these colors. I'm going to be using these very soon. We've seen these before. We saw some of those boot, boots last year from Jessica's sticker book and really, really cute. Some florals here, more florals. Florals for days, florals for weeks, florals for months. And then a purple page with cute little, you know, Parisian stickers. Some tulips and watercolory goodness there. Look at these little bullet points. Are they bullet points? Ooh, no, they're not bullet points. They are a washi strip. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's really fun. That's so different. All right, so that is Hello Spring. Mixed up, functionally chic pink blooms. Obviously, this is gonna be a pink sticker book and I think it's all gonna be flowers. That previous sticker book was all paper stickers. It looks like, well, at least the first couple pages are clear stickers. Ooh, really pretty, very delicate. These are like go in the corner of a box. So nice. Pretty, pretty. Ooh. Okay, so those were all clear. This is paper. We have definitely like little, not definitely, why did I say that? Little checklists in the, all the pinks. I am so happy about this because it's very hard to find a true pink in like the Happy Planner sticker books. Um, at least like ones that are like this, you know what I mean? Or this. Sometimes they're a little warm, a little cool. These are like a really nice pink. Ooh, and we have finally pink boxes and they're big ones. I love the big ones. Okay, we've got some more clear florals here. Very, very cute. This reminds me of a bedspread I had when I was a kid. <laughs> okay, very nice. More pink boxes. Yes, finally, I have pink boxes. Jessica, you don't know how happy that makes me. You just don't know. Look at all of those boxes, even the little baby ones. Okay, so that is functionally chic pink blooms. Next up, functionally chic purple blooms. Okay, we have a theme going on. Ooh. So obviously we're gonna get maybe one in every color. I'm just saying, stay tuned and find out. So um, I didn't read these before. So these are days of the week, to do, get it done, tasks, priorities, and important. And they all say that. And these all say goals to buy. So we're just gonna like quickly go through these. Ooh, those are my vibe, really cute. Purple and yellow. And then purple boxes of all the colors. Allie would love this. My daughter Allie loves purple. Blue. I don't know about you, but if I was buying these, so you're gonna get two, I'm just gonna flip like two pages at a time because you're getting two of each page, which is awesome. I don't know why I did this, like awesome, I don't know. Um, if you're buying these, oh, look at those birds with the green and blue. I would have a hard time like deciding on which color to buy, you know what I mean? I'd probably buy yellow and I hope that yellow is in this book, but, I mean, not book. I hope Jessica sent me a yellow book and I'm pretty sure she did because I think I got all the colors, but I would have a tough time. I might choose, choose yellow, pink, maybe green because I know there's gonna be plants in here. Like how could there not be? So these um, stickers, the clear ones, not the clear ones. Oh my gosh, Wallace is distracting me. He's on my lap now. These um, ones that are on the edge are like to go on the bottom or top or sides of your pages. Ooh, look at those. They are vibrant and beautiful and they're clear. So when they go on the paper, they're gonna be even more vibrant than this. I don't know how that's possible. I'm gonna use those next week, I think. Ooh, succulents. And plants, yes, yes. I did that again, yes. I don't know. Love the plant stickers, De Jessica. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for green boxes and pretty florals, watercolory ones. You have a variety of different types. This is cool because it's a green background. Good for St. Patty's Day. Green, green, green. Okay. 
She did it. She sent the yellow sticker book to me. Lemons. Oh my goodness. These are like greenish yellow lemons. Those are cool. They are very cool. Ooh. Those are neat. Very realistic. Are they photos? I think they're photos. Some greens and purples there. Sunflowers. Yes. Yellow, yellow, yellow. <coughs> Excuse me. Yellow, yellow, and more yellow. My favorite one is this color yellow. More yellow. Ooh, those are neat. They have like those line art drawings on there, little lines. These are like nice for fall, right? More yellow, more, more, more yellow. Two more colors and then I have other things to show you. Orange, functionally chic orange blooms. And Wallace, is that your favorite color? Sit down. You can sit over there. You can, <laughs> you can sit. If you sit too close, it's gonna focus on you and not the sticker book. Hmm. Well, now how am I gonna flip it? I know the cat people will be happier here, but like for me, this is like difficult. Do you see? Let's try. <laughs> Let's do a flip through on Wallace. I think he'll be like, no, thank you. Oh my God. I love tropical flowers, especially on stickers. Orange. What do you think of orange, Wallace? He's like, eh. He's like, my sister's kind of orange. Don't really love that. Where's the black and white sticker book? So really cute. More like kind of fallish vibes here. I mean, orange, that makes sense. Ooh, that's really pretty. You can kind of tell which stickers I gravitate towards, like the kind of fun and whimsical ones, but I like these ones too sometimes, you know? All right. What do you think about red, Wallace? He's like, well, my sister's kind of red too. All right, buddy, I'm going to have to, oh, uh, let's just, <clears throat> sorry, bud. I'm going to have to kick him out of the room. I hate doing that, but it's necessary. He looked so sad. That made me sad. Okay, I'm really happy though to have a red sticker book because I know there's gonna be red boxes in here and that is the other color that I struggle finding with the Happy Planner ones. I like these corner ones, they're kind of cool. So lots and lots of florals here. Red, 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 yes. And it's true red. So this one, if I'm looking at these, these are like, I think the same color. So they're like a true red. This is a little bit like on the pink side of red, but it's still red, do you know what I mean? And then this is more like almost a maroon. So it's like basically a dark red. I mean, obviously the colors are here so you can see the difference. Um, but I love that Jessica included a true red because that's really important to me because I can never find it. We have some Christmas flowers there and some other flowers and other flowers and the flowers, flowers, flowers forever and ever and ever and more boxes. Red, red, red. Okay. Let's check out the other products that I got in this box. Look at these. So this is the Chic Motivational Pen Set. These are ballpoint pens. They are really pretty. I like Jessica's pens. I have another set of her pens and they're just like so pretty and they feel good. Like they're real heavy pens compared to like some other pens I've gotten. Like these are really like, listen, <laughs> they're really heavy and good. Um, this has a little thingy. That's not a ballpoint pen. That's like a, a gel type pen. Is that a gel? I don't know what to call that felt. It's not a felt tip. I guess it's a gel. That's, that writes really nice. So this one says, believe in yourself. And it's nice, like black. It is chic, it feels chic. This one reminds me of, I don't know, a jail outfit. <laughs> no, it's really cool though. This, these will make great props. I love having decorative pens. I don't always write with them, but I love having them for like props and photos and just as decoration, like on my desk. I think they're so fun. So this one says pro progress over perfection. I will put them all on my hand and you can see them all. But there they are. Really pretty. Don't forget, you can use that code BUMBLE10 
and you're going to get 10% off your order. That helps you and me. So we have another box of washi and it's thin as well, just like the other one. I think it's going to be sort of the same thing, except in black. Okay, so we have patterns here. Let's take a look. Ooh. I'm not going to swatch all these for you because it's going to be obvious. These are just like repeating patterns. So you'll be able to tell when I show them to you. That's what they look like. This one's a little um, thin, you know, um, grid washi, which is nice. I've never had a really thin one. And then we have like a stripe, a racing kind of flag, a diagonal stripe, a little, I don't know, it's a little spotted one. Another little grid, a polka dot, a stripe, a polka dot, a stripe, a stripe and stars. Very nice. I just love having that kind of stuff. Just, you know, when I just need a pop of something in my spread and these are just easy and fun. Okay. I have a couple more things before we get to Archer and Olive. This is the washi tape set that's like a bigger one. Um, this is actually, as of the time of this filming, it's sold out, but I'm going to show it to you anyway, because like I said, I think you can probably put your email in there and be on the waiting list or not the waiting list, but like get notified when it's back in stock. I actually asked her for this because I love having, um, just this, these really basic washi tapes, like I just said, you know? So I was like, we were kind of talking about her products and I was like, I kind of like would love to have those. So, okay. So you have two of these like spotted ones. And then this is a rainbow guy. So obviously this is going to be, I mean, I can show it to you, but like, it's going to be a repeating kind of thing. Ooh, that's really fun. And then we have a polka dot, always a necessity. This one, I'll open this one too, because I want to see it on the paper. This one looks really fun and different. Look at that. That's really fun. That's a really fun pattern. I'm definitely going to be using that one. And then we have a stripey guy here. I don't need to show that to you. Some hearts. And let's look at this one though. This one you probably need to see on paper. This is adorable. Look at that. That's <laughs> so cute. And then of course the quintessential black and white grid washi tapes always, always needed. And then we have some more different kinds of stripes and um, I'll show you these closer because those are just a little different than like your regular ones. Okay. Thank you, Jessica. Um, oh wait, I have one more thing from her. The only problem with getting all this washi tape is I have that washi tape rack that my dad made me. <sighs> that means I have to get rid of washi tape to put these on. One in, one out. That's my rule, but that's going to be hard. I have a little bag of goodies. I don't know what's in here. It's a present. Let's see. Sneaky peek. Oh, okay. It is the Go Wild swag bundle from Jessica. I believe this is what she gave people at Go Wild who attended. Thank you for sending this to me, Jessica, because I, I did not attend this year and, and I was a little sad about it. So I like getting this. This is sold out also on her website as of this filming. I don't know if this is going to be restocked or not. My guess is probably no, but I don't know for sure. But look how cute. Oh, these are really cute. <laughs> these are really cute. And we have some boxes to match and some florals to match. Really fun. I can use these next, oh wait, this page too. I can use these next year for Go Wild because it's like, I mean, this one is specific to California, but this isn't. And the Go Wild colors never change. I can use this stuff next year. Live, love, go wild and stay wild. These are little icon stickers. We have a little sticky note pack and then three, oh, these are really pretty. Three little washi tapes. Really cute. Thank you so much, Jessica from Live Love Posh for sending me all of these goodies. Okay, so Bumble 10 will get you 10% off. Let's get to my Archer and Olive unboxing now. Okay, now for the Archer and Olive order. Yes, I changed my clothes. It's another day. What can I say? Sometimes I just do that. There's a little secret behind YouTube. 
So I ordered a couple things from Archer and Olive, which I freaking love Archer and Olive. They are like, oh my goodness. I have to control myself because I love everything and I can't buy everything obviously. And like, it's frustrating. I know. See, I have those problems too. I got the May box. Okay. So they have these like monthly accessory boxes and I got a couple back in the winter and now like I can't resist them every month. I can't resist them, but I can't buy both. They come out, they've been coming out with two per month, which is amazing, but I don't want to buy both because you know, money. So I had to choose. And this one looked more appealing to me because look, yeah, yeah. All right, let's take a peek. There's a little note from Bonnie about um, mental health and wellness, because I think I, I think this is the mental health and wellness box. I will link everything in the description box. If you place an order at Arch and Olive, I have a code PWB10 for 10% off. I love this little, little present here because I just love their accessory boxes because it's all coordinated and they're just so fun. They're like little boxes of goodies. Let's take things out. I'll put this aside. Let's see what we have here. I actually did not look at what was in it. Like I, I briefly glanced at it, but I don't like to like really dive deep because I, I just want to get it and sort of be surprised, you know? I think this might be pens or something. No, it's washi tape. That's right. I do remember there was washi in there. Let's see. Isn't that cute? This little box of washi. I love how it's like displayed. So let's check these out. And I will uh, do swatches for you of these because these are not just regular patterns here. So let's see what they are. I'm going to put them all out and then you can look at them all together. How's that? Is that a good plan? I try to make everyone happy with these hauls. <laughs> so here they are. Very, very pretty. This one, I'm going to bring you all the way up close with this one. That might be too close. So can you tell there's like a grid on there? There's a very soft colored grid on that peach washi. And then there's like the moons and stars. Very nice. And then here we have one with, um, you know, words, quiet the mind, the soul will speak. And then it's like my self care, uh, ritual, I think. Okay. Wait, there's more. Well, I'll just show you. Allow your mind to be free. Let go of what I don't need. Good morning. You are enough just as you are. Take a moment to breathe in and out. Okay. So that's that one. And that's like a, a kind of a cool, like pretty light teal ish color. And then this next one, um, it's, well, I'll turn it this way. You can see feed the soul. We've got like a little wine, a little plant, a little plate and flowers and like a cake and little berries or something or tomatoes or whatever they are. And, um, and then yoga, yeah, so these are really, really cute. And it's going to fit the theme of this box. So let's check out the rest. We have some die cut stickers here, which I always like. I kind of collect them in a little container inside a drawer. We have the little... Is that the... Is it the Hugi one? Hugi? <laughs> Maybe that's what this is. Oh my gosh, I should have looked it up before I did this flip through. It's like cozy, right? Silence isn't empty. It's full of answers. I know I said Hugo wrong. Higgy, Hugo. I think it's Hug. I don't know. I don't know. I have a, um, I think it's either Danish or Swedish or something. I have a, a Danish friend and sometimes she'll speak to me, um, like in Danish. I mean, she won't speak to me in Danish, but like she'll say a Danish word and then I'll try to say it and I can't. Like my, my mouth doesn't move like that. <laughs> it just doesn't, it's really cool language, I think, but it's just my, I mean, I can't do it for some reason. Okay. Oh, so we have some paper. 
So this is going to coordinate with like what's in this box so that you can make, you know, stuff, spreads for your bullet journal or your planner with these colors. I think that's amazing because I love it when everything coordinates, like I said. Um, you know what? I'm going to pause for a second and look up this box. I feel awkward. Okay, they're calling it a self-care box. But yeah, I like that. You know I'm all about self-care, right? Let's see what this is. I do believe it's stickers. Yes. I mean, let's be real. This is the real reason I get these boxes. So we have here um, some hearts Monday through Sunday. Some little, you know, oh my gosh, this is really cute. So you get two pages of this. I'm just going to show it to you. really cute these little trackers self-care time to do goals to do oh look at this look at this one oh my gosh that's so cute so we have a little yoga girl we have i'm capable of amazing things a little bathtub that little chair with the cat so it is like cozy and self-care and just like good feeling peaceful vibes right Look at that little plant that is so cute. And the teapot, you get two pages of those. And um, the outlines on these stickers that Archer and Olive make are very, very small, which I love because I'm, I don't have time for like big, huge outlines, but these are so tiny, which is great. We have some stencils here. So these are great for making bullet journal pages, right? The thing I love about Archer and Olive, okay, there's a lot of things I love about them, but the one thing I do adore is the packaging is always so cute. Like this in itself, I feel like I'm going to save this. And I have like a place I store stencils, but I feel like I'm going to save this, cut it out and use this in my planner and then like put something over this as like a message to myself. Do you know what I mean? Like I like to use their packaging for other things because it's always so pretty. Okay, last but not least, we have... A Dutch Door May cover page. Let's check this out. Oh my gosh. See, like they have this big, nice packaging for this. Like, like it's so cool. Like these cutouts, you know, this is so pretty too. I'm going to cut this up and put it in my planner. So if you get Archer and Olive stuff, like don't throw this stuff away. Ooh, I have plans for this. Maybe next week. Okay. Step one, cut along the dashed line of the Dutch Door artwork. Step two, cut down the height of this page to the height of your journal. Step three, use tape or glue to place in your journal. I got some of these before and used them in my happy planner. Um, you can just like cut this down if you want to and put it in your planner. Like it, here is, I don't know if you can see the lines, but it's like that. This would look really good on a monthly page. Um, and also, of course, for bullet journaling. I know I say planner, but a, lo a lot of my audience are planners. So that's why I said that. But of course, it works wonderfully in a bullet journal, especially the Archer and Olive bullet journals, which are my fave. Okay, so that is everything in the May monthly accessory box. You can check out the other one too. There's like a floral one as well. And you can get, um... oh, I forgot. I had something else in the box. Hold on. You can get like that 10% off with my code, but let's see what else I got from this re release. Yep, gel pens. They came out with gel pens. I can't resist pens in general, but especially Archer and Olive pens, like they're so good. So I think these will probably work on dark and light paper. I'm assuming they have names on them. No. Okay. So green yeah i think these are going to be good on black paper whoops i almost wrote green blue pink actually that's kind of reddish yellow okay let's check them out let me get a piece of black paper and we'll test it Okay, just so you know, like this is not actually white. This is more like a almost a cream, just so you're aware of that. But let's try it on both. So I'm just going to do little blobbity blobs. I don't know why I called it that. Little swatches. 
in no particular order. Oh, yeah, they really pop on the black paper. I think that's where they shine, right? Let's just write really quickly on the black paper. I don't know why there's a spot there. What the heck is that? Let's turn it over. So it shows up really, really well. It feels nice, it feels smooth. Um, we have a clip here, you know, you can clip it to whatever if you want to. It has a little logo there. And yeah, I think that the color is pretty close to what is on the page. So yeah, I think this is really fun. It'll be fun to like draw, you know, like, like Bonnie does. She draws all at Archer and Olive. She draws all those, like those leaves and stuff like that would be fun. Um, but you know, you can do whatever. And like I said, you can use these on, um, white paper or on craft paper. You know what I mean? But definitely will work on the black. So really nice. Okay. All right. That is everything for my order. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you're most excited for. And um, I really appreciate you guys using my affiliate links. I guess that's all I've got for you. I will see you in my next one. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye. Mm -hmm.